What's up guys, this is uh, Sebastian Jabossi here and I'm here with episode 7 in our Machine 101 tutorial series. Um, this episode is going to be focusing on editing a recorded beat. Uh, what we're going to be learning is several techniques on how to erase notes, how to quantize, just making your beat um, fit and making it perfect to what you want it to be. So for starters, here's what I have. I, I created a pattern using my R&B kit, 2013 R&B kit. Um, just here's what it is. Let me play. Let me let me let me add the metronome so you can see what the beat is. Here it is. Okay, so basically, there's there's several problems that I I hear in this. Um, for starters, let me mute this snare. Mute snare. Um, here, listen to the kick drums. I've I've layered them. I've doubled them so they have a more um full fuller sound. But listen to what it sounds like. What I really wanted to do is I really wanted to be sound like it's one snare, but it's very full. So what I wanted to do was have them be on perfect time with each other in perfect sync. Um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you guys how to erase. I'm going to go ahead and erase this second kick. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift, select, select that kick, and it's going to highlight all, the, all those sounds. And you can tell that it's, that it's selected that kick by holding shift and select and seeing that it's the only um, sound that is lit up. Um, so what you want to do next is you want to hit shift clear and it's going to clear all those sounds from it so now what i have is just this this kick um now what i want to do is i want to copy and paste the pattern from the first kick to the second kick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the first kick make sure i'm in the first kick hold shift hold select and hold that kick again i mean click that same kick that you want copied um, and that's going to highlight the pattern and you're going to go to the destination and you're going to go hold shift Oh, sorry, you're gonna go back to the kick, sorry. You're gonna go shift, copy, and that's gonna copy the, that pattern, and you're gonna go to the destination, and hit shift, paste, and it's gonna paste the same exact beat, the same exact pattern, and it's gonna result in this right here. And that's what you that's what you end up with. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was want that I wanted. I wanted it to be one kick, two kicks come together as one to create a, a complete sound. Um, next, we're gonna go to the snare. There's there's a problem in the snare. I'm gonna solo that real quick. I don't like that that ghost snare anymore. I like the idea at first to have a ghost snare, but I I just don't like it anymore. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase them. And I'm gonna show you another little innovative way to erase those kicks, I mean those those, those sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, play it. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna hold erase and I'm just gonna go back to that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to time it. It's a very fun way to do it, it's just timing um, where that ghost kick comes in, I mean that ghost snare comes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold erase and do it. Erased it, erased it, there you go. And now they're erased. So what I basically did there was I held erase down and I pressed on the sound once I wanted it to be erased. So you can hold it down and it'll erase as far as everything that it plays after that. Um, and that's basically how I went about doing that. I do that quite quite often in my um, beats when I'm just, because when my friends come over and I'm making beats when my friends are over, I just play it. I don't go through all this Oh wait, let me let me delete this. Let me do that. What I do is I just erase it on the spot. And sometimes I make a mistake, or sometimes I don't erase what I wanted to erase, and it just comes out dope. The way I I might have erased the first kick and left the ghost the ghost snare or something like that, and it comes that sounds good. So that's something that I just play around with sometimes. But that's another way you can erase um, single sounds without going to your actual um, software and clicking. And uh, what you what, if you want to do that, all you have to do is hit right. You just hit the right. Uh, the right mouse button and it'll erase it. So let me undo that. Um, so next, I want to I want to copy this snare sound that I have right here. I want to copy that. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Over, I'm gonna go over the same process that I went for the kicks. So what I want to do is I'm gonna hold shift, um, co uh, shift select snare. I want to deselect this other sound. I want. I just want the snare. So I'm gonna click that so it's deselected. Um, so. Next, I'm gonna do shift copy, 
and then go to the destination, this snare, and shift paste. So now I have, let me unmute the sounds. Now I have. All right, so uh, you basically, I hope you guys got the gist of copy and pasting and erasing. Um, the next thing we're gonna go over is quantizing. We're gonna go a little bit more in depth in quantizing. Um, basically, you can do a lot more in quantizing and get more effective um, in results using quantizer by using what I'm about to show you guys. So one thing that people really overlook when they're using machine is this grid button. What this grid button does is it changes the grid pattern. Like it changes um, if you're in one, uh, if, if you want 16 notes in one bar or if you want to have it cut it up into um, eight triplets. Like, so let me, let me just put this in, let me show you what I'm talking about better than I can say it um, I'm gonna hold grid and I want you to look right here at this this the pattern grid uh, and I'm gonna select um, let me see 132nd and see it cut every 16th note it cut every note every every space into half and if I hit 64th it's gonna cut that into half so now when I quantize it it's gonna quantize it to those that closest note so if I hit shift quantize 50% now listen to what my, my beat sounds like Uh, so I, I, that's not really what I was going for, so I'm going to hit shift undo to undo that. And I'm going to go back to grid, and I'm going to hit 30, 30 sec. oh sorry, hit 30 second. Um, what I want to do now is I want to shift quantize 50% and then now play it. Oh, whoop, one second. Undo that, because now I'm only quantizing the selected notes. So what I want to do is hit shift, select, and deselect those notes. Deselect those notes, so it's going to quantize everything now. So shift, quantize 50%. And let me let me hear this. And now it's pretty much exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, so I very very I don't know how to say this. I really want you guys to really use this grid button to the best of your ability, especially when you're using quantizing, because it really helps. Um, get out some of the headaches of making a beat and, and and your notes are not exactly where you wanted them to be and you have to click and drag and all that and then play and drag and I, I know I have been through that so this grid button it works wonders It's very very simple it's a very very easy way to streamline your beat making process so definitely look into that and definitely use it um, so that's been another tutorial right there um, if you have any more questions about any of these definitely leave me a comment, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up with an email. Um, Twitter is definitely the best way to contact me because I will give you a quick response, the quickest response I can. Um, email is an awesome way to, to, to discuss anything with me because, you know, it's private. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have for you guys today. So definitely check out the, the rest of this tutorial series. If you have not seen the other videos, definitely go back and look at those. Um, I have some really, really cool stuff I've been working on. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Definitely comment, rate, subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you don't do any of the others because I have a lot of, lot of, lot of cool things for producers, singers, any type of artist. Um, definitely, definitely stay, stay tuned. Uh, this has been Sebastian Bossy. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.